Errol Nola's numbers, man, at home, 4-1, a 1.57 ERA, 28 and two-thirds, and just an absurd strikeout-to-walk ratio of 29-4. to four. Tough regular season he had, but in this October, 3-0, .96 ERA. But why is he so effective in the second season? Well, when you start thinking about Aaron Nola, obviously he's, he's headed toward free agency, and this is a big money game, not just for the Phillies, but it's also a big money game for him. But when we go into this tape, what you're going to see is not just control. It's control and command. And when you think about the postseason, execution becomes just so vitally important. And when you watch Aaron Nola, people keep talking about why the Diamondbacks not running. During the regular season, Aaron Nola was a 139 to 145. But when you start to get into the postseason, he's been, one, holding runners better. He's hitting his spots. He's also went down from a 139 to a 129 and a 135. So from a base runner standpoint, you're getting over there thinking that you're going to get the big one and you see him being able to slow a hitter down, speed the hitter up, and then freeze the hitter. We're going to walk through this at bat right here and just watch the catcher and Aaron Nola ability to just paint the corners and make pitches. That's a fastball away. The catcher then set up in a, on the inner third. He's able to do the front door sinking fastball to run it back over the inner third of the plate. It's now 0-2. He's now going to get on the edge and try to get Podomo to chase. He's not chasing. He throws him a change up. He goes, you know what, let me try it again. He goes change up again. The account now is at 2-2. He's now going to go to the outer third. He's going to try to hit the fastball. He misses off the plate. The count's now 3-2. He know that he's going to challenge him with the fastball, but it's the command of the fastball getting that late light at the top of the zone. He sped the hitter up, and now to finish him off, they're going for Charlie. See you later, bro. <laughs> and when you think about Aaron Nola, what you have is all three pitches come out of the same tunnel. So from a hitter standpoint, they all look the same, Mikey Lowell, until the ball starts to give you the action and the late light with the fastball. And you look at these numbers this postseason, 120 batting average, you look at the whiff percentage, everything is up for Aaron Nola because not only is he tunneling the baseball, it's his ability to command his pitches, which makes it very difficult for the hitter. He can, he can literally leave the strike zone when he wants to. Even if he falls behind in the strike zone, he has the ability to throw the breaking ball in any count to get back into the strike zone. Well, one thing I love about Aaron Nola is we make so much about the third time through a lineup. It seems like hitters usually on base percentage goes up, slugging goes up, OPS goes up. With Nola, that is not the case. Look at this. He, his OPS against actually goes down, and his ERA goes down the third time through a lineup. Look at this little tidbit of information at the bottom. He reached the third time through 34 of 35 starts. You know why that's important? Because that's the same recipe Rob Thompson wants to have today. Mm -hmm. I'm okay go going the third time through a lineup. Why? I've done it 34 out of 35 times, and I guarantee you in his three starts, he did as well in the postseason. So I'm going to add just a little, a little change to this. You talked that this is a big game, big money game for Aaron Nola. We saw guys, Nate Evaldi, had a huge performance in the World Series with the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. He kind of was rewarded for his, for his performance. People say, oh, you got the contribution. Like, he ended up being a good pitcher for the Red Sox. Good signing. Everyone talked about Jacob DeGrom. Evaldi looks like the great deal. Yep. There's a human element to this. This might be potentially Aaron Nola's last start. He's only known the Phillies organization. This might be his last start in Philadelphia, wearing a Philadelphia Phillies uniform. You hope not, but it is a business, so we'll see. You know, so there, there, those are the, I don't know, the distractions that someone like Aaron Nola has to be able to compartmentalize and say, okay, this, this cannot enter mm -hmm. my focus for today's game. i got to execute my game plan. Basically do what I've done my last three starts, yeah. and the Phillies will be fine. But your point is right. He said he used to always think as a starter that you're thinking a quality start, seven innings, three runs. And Doc Halliday, the late Roy Halliday, taught him, don't think that way. Pitch by pitch, execution, don't look at the big picture, focus on the details. So far, Nola's done that in the postseason.